kinds of games. You know, Pokemon being the famous one, but there's a bunch of other games that people... Hello! Hello, everyone. Oh, boy. Sorry again about it being so late today. Trust me, I didn't want to be. Oh, boy, but it is. Anyways, uh, at least on the plus side, Noodle has a way to work today. So because of that, I'm able to, or I'm sorry, a way to work, a way home from work. So because of that, I'll be able to stream a little bit longer than usual. So, uh, yeah, we won't have to, like, call it in an hour, at least, which is what we would have had to do otherwise. So that's good. That's a nice bonus. But we are still going to uh, be a little bit shorter than usual, and then, of course, just later. I'm filling up my water bottle, so give me just a second to do that. See, I have, like, multiple water bottles. I have a big thermos one that keeps shit really cold, which is nice. But I don't want it to get all gross, so I only put water in it. And then I have, like, a little cheap one that I that I put, like, flavored thing for the water and stuff down in. So, I have to, like, pour water from the one, th from the thermos to the, to the other water bottle sort of thing. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Video games. Let's, uh, let's play some video games. Hi, Noodle. Thanks for being here, love. Stream love one. Alright, uh, but, anyways, with all of that, we might as well get into the game. You're having trouble again with Wi-Fi, Rue? That sucks, man. I hope you get it figured out, especially because, more than anyone, I think, uh, you're most excited for this game. So, <laughs> I hope you get it figured out, uh, there. But regardless, let's, uh, let's get back into it, man. We, uh, left off last time... I, did we even finish the first chapter of the Puka Prince storyline? I don't think we did. We might have. I can't really remember. It was like a week ago. It's hard for me to keep track of things that, that far out. Uh, but anyways, we're, we're a Puka now. And we're doing, we're doing Puka things. He's got a cool sword. It's really strong, apparently. Um, he was a man, but he turned into a Puka, uh, for some reason that we don't know yet. Cursed by somebody, I presume. Uh, but anyways, this is us. So, okay. What's our inventory looking like, too? Should probably look at that. Is it even worth picking things up? Gotta get reacquainted to the controls every time I play the game. Uh, also, the game <laughs> has been experiencing some lag problems lately. There we go. We're in it. What do we got? We got multiple different seeds. Let's, uh... Let's just move these things down here. So we got a shine potion, which we shouldn't need right now. We only need that in the land of the dead. Healing tonic, which is pretty self-explanatory. Unlimited power is nice. And then a couple basic materials. And then muggle seed, mulberry seed, grape, and more mulberry. Okay. So, I mean, we can pick up the carrot, and if I remember correctly, the carrots are used for making health potions and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want that. Ow! For anybody who hasn't seen Odin Sphere before, it's just a uh, it's a pretty pretty nice little game. You just run around as one of the various characters in the in the game. Uh, I guess there's like six-ish chapters per character, and then each character has their own storyline or whatever. And it's just like this side-scrolling action RPG thing. It's a lot of fun, actually. I've been having a, a ton of fun with it. The art style is amazing. The music is pretty decent. The only complaint I have is in some levels, there's a lot of slowdown, like lag-wise. And then, uh, the, uh inventory system is kind of jank to be honest like just to be frank like <laughs> like it's not it's not amazing the the uh the inventory system there because you like they did the whole thing like uh what's that one game oh shoot i can't remember the name of it uh super nintendo game and it had an inventory like this or a menu like this i guess i should say not necessarily an inventory Anyways, they did that, which is fine. 
for like if I was just selecting a weapon or something like that. But that's how the whole inventory system works. And to make matters worse, there's also this inventory screen. But you can't actually interact with anything in that one. You can only sort stuff. So it's kind of like, why, you know? But other than that, I have like no real complaints for the game, man. It's a ton of fun. All right, we got the map now. That's good. So we can actually see where we're going. Um, so we've got a shop coming up next. That's the actual boss we want to get to. We could fight everything. The only thing that does for us, though, is level up our Psy meter, really, or let us grow seeds. We probably will, just because. Why not, though? Ooh, Baromet seed. Yeah, no, we're going to want that. So uh, let's let's grab that. Let's hope clearing your cookies and cash works. You're here, but if something happens, you'll have to head out. Feel free to message me in Discord. You got it, man. No problem. I hope uh, whatever's going on isn't too bad. We can make another health tonic there. No reason not to, and that'll clear up a space for the baromet seed that we got. So that's nice. What are these ones? That's a grape seed. Oh man, there's there's a lot more cipher or foes on, sorry, floating around than I thought there was. We probably could have planted something, actually. But it's too late now. Let's see. We got Baromet, Cubbing, Grape, Mulberry. I, we can probably throw down a Mulberry Seed and swap it for Grape. I think that's pretty reasonable. Your friend's Wi-Fi sucks. That's what's going on. Seriously, everything has taken forever to load. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know if, uh, you said, like, if something happens, you might have to go, so I didn't know if, like, uh, there was just something more going on, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the Wi-Fi issue, that's always frustrating. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> Thankfully, not in quite a while, outside of, uh, occasional problems with, with Comcast, um, but yeah, we have, we have pretty decent Comcast service where I live at now. Puka, it pleases me to see that you are well. I am delivering a message from Princess Gwendolyn. Ah. Lord Brigand's strength lies in the four shields on his chest. Yeah, we fought him before, actually. Um, with Gwendolyn, actually. That was our first character that we played through as. And uh, we fought Brigand. The asshole. You surrender? I'm not here to fight. I actually just kind of want to shop. Where's the shopkeep? <laughs> there you are, okay. This is the first time I think that we've had people to talk to in the middle of a level. So that's a little weird, but whatever. Right, we might as well sell that shine stuff. Because we can only really use it in the, the underworld area, and I don't think we're heading back there anytime soon. Uh, keep the healing tonics. We have. Mm, what do you what do you have to to sell? I guess. Like, what are you buying? Because ancient crystal spear, stone, luck stone. Yeah. See, there's nothing here we really want to buy. So no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it for now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Pass them up. Keep on going. I think we're heading south. Going all the way to the bottom. Gotta murder everything before we continue on to the boss. I also need to grab a fruit squeezy. Something to flavor up my water a little bit. Today I got some, uh, what is this, pineapple mango. It is pretty freaking good, man. I didn't expect it to, to be one of my favorites, but ever since I tried it, I, uh, yeah, I actually like it a lot. Oh, you're a... I didn't even realize this was a boss. <laughs> Oops. That's all right. Uh, duh, God. We're fine. Everything's fine. One of the bonuses about being still relatively early in the game is that, uh... Like, we don't have a ton of health. So we don't really have to worry much. Like, at the end of the game, you have to drink, like, four health potions to heal yourself. But right now, it's like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, man. <laughs> one health potion gets us completely back to full. And that only costs, like, what, one one carrot, if I remember correctly? Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. Grapes take 12. Muggle takes 8. Do I think there's 8 more floating around? Bearman, I think, takes 12, too. We'll, uh, we'll risk it with the muggle. If the muggle doesn't grow, I won't really be that upset about it. 
It's just a muggle after all. What do we got? What do we got? Lots of coins, man. I feel like we're getting a lot more coins with the Puka here than we than we got with the uh, with the other people. Oh, look at that. We picked up another another seed anyways, another muggle seed. We'll go ahead and eat all these mulberries because eating food actually gives you experience points for your health on top of actually restoring health as well. Um, and every time you level up your health, you get max HP. So even though the mulberries aren't good enough to add, just restore our health naturally because of all the experience they give us. There you go. See, we got full health. Pretty sick, man. Uh, Cypher heal. HP will gradually recover until you... Oh, I forgot we had that ability too. So if we ever really need health with, with the Puka dude here, we can just, uh, after we kill everybody on a level, we could just stand there for a little while. And that would recover all our health too. Kind of kind of boring to do so, but <laughs> in a pinch, you know, when we're when we're really hurting for for some health, it's an option at least. I wish there was a better way to take care of my inventory. There we go. Uh, nope. There we go. And then seed and food. Okay. Alright, uh, da, da, da. we need to pull up the map. That's not the map. We're going south all the way first, I think, and then we'll, yeah, and then we'll slowly work our way back up to the top. We might skip that one fight. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see once we get there. Nothing like that. Thanks for worrying, though. Mood for real, man. But yeah, no. No, no, no. I'm just glad everything's okay. That the worst problem at the moment is Wi-Fi. Because <laughs> while that certainly does suck, it's, uh, you know, could definitely be something worse. So thank goodness it's not. I kind of miss Gwendolyn having the... She had, like, an upward slash ability. Um, like, not just an upward slash. He has a... The Puka Prince here has an upward slash. But the... Uh, Gwendolyn would, like, throw their sword up in the up in the air, which was super nice, man, whenever things were flying around and, and doing shit. With, with the Puka Prince here, he can just, he can kind of, like, hit up in the air, but it's not the same, you know? It's not the same. Sorry, dude, looks like you won't be here this time. Any questions? Message me in Discord. His Wi-Fi just went out. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> no problem, Rue. Take it easy. I hope you have a nice afternoon. And uh, thanks for trying, at least, you know? I appreciate that. Uh, what do we get? We got Mulberry Seed. We got to pick up the Muggle, of course. We spent all that time growing it. It would be kind of dumb not to pick it up. So is there any Fozons that we need to pick up while we're here? No, I don't think so. Material. Can we... Let's see. We got all these seeds that we can't grow. We might as well eat the Mulberry, too. That'll clear up a little bit of inventory space. And then... Let's see. We can take this material here and craft it to a level two which you do just by picking the material and then a seed i kind of want to keep the bare met so i'll mix it with mulberry because mulberry you can cook into pretty decent stuff don't get me wrong but like on their own uh, i mean at a low level i guess they're actually pretty decent but generally speaking they're not like amazing or anything look oh, excuse me Oh, man. I am tired today. I'm not going to lie. But it's all right. Uh, okay, let's mix it with... Wait, there's seeds on the ground. Let's let's look at the seeds on the ground. We got Muggle and Mulberry. See that? We can mix it with that Mulberry seed instead of using something a little bit better. Muggles, uh, whenever you eat them, you actually get the seed back, which is pretty neat. So you can just keep regrowing them forever. Unless you use them as part of a cooking recipe. That's basically the only time that they go out. So that's pretty handy. Uh, but later on in the game, they stop being as useful as they are here earlier on. So it's best... I mean, with all of this like food that you grow, the fruit sort of stuff, it's kind of best to use them as much as possible early. Because later on, you're really just going to want to be doing actual cooking for everything instead of instead of eating fruit fruit is kind of like uh 
you do it just because you have it and there's too much space and I didn't mean to grow that. Holy shit. Ah, uh, dude, that sucks. I think I think it was just the muggle seed though. Nope, that was the bear met seed. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, well there's what we can do that will probably get the bear met to grow. Whenever you craft a potion at a, any level, it makes phosons appear. Whenever you craft one at a higher level, though, more phosons appear. So I'll just go ahead and craft that uh, level 80 one. And uh, that should be enough to get the bear met to grow. And probably enough to grow a grape, too. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Let it, let it grow real quick. And then that'll give us some meat, which is neat, I guess. Um, and then some grapes too and again we'll probably just end up eating all this stuff right away i think as the puka prince do we have the chance the ability to cook right away i don't remember we might and we might as well just absorb the rest of the phosons for that because cooking is like way more powerful than than craft or than the uh crap that you you grow Okay, we need to fix this a little bit. Put you there, you there, you there, and then you can go there. And I guess we'll do that. Okay. Let's continue on now. Holy shit. Try not to accidentally plant any more stuff that we don't want to plant, man. That's kind of what, that's kind of what hurt us there. That's what ruined everything. This is a shop level. Okay, super easy. Just find the shop. I doubt you're going to have anything that I really want. The only thing I really want that I know of in the game, honestly, is bags. Preferably big bags, but... No, I'm not selling you my sword, bro. It's my fucking sword. I should have went to buy first to see if there's even anything I want here. Cheese, materials, small bag. And I've been told... That you can only really buy the small bags to begin with and then the farther you get into the game like that's when the the larger bags appear like it's not a matter of just getting lucky and and the larger ones appearing it seems like it's always the large ones appear towards the end of the game so uh i think we will buy a couple small bags man just so we have a bit more inventory space uh i'm gonna try not to go all out with them though because I want to save it for uh, later on in the game. The big ones. The money, I mean. Uh, okay, so and to cook food, you need aerial coins, which are these ones, I believe. Valentinian coins? Yes. And then these ones is commemorative, which are very rare. So really, even though it says we have 163 gold, we only really have these 10, which are worth 10 apiece. And then the Rangan silver, which is worth one apiece. So we have 148 instead of 163. Uh, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and pay for our bag with that. And then I think we'll go ahead and buy a second one as well. I can't equip it because my bag is full right now. <laughs> that's stupid. That's fine. Just drop that. Then we can pick that up. And then grab it. And I think we just press X to equip. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool, cool. And if you don't mind, good sir, I would actually like to buy another one from you real quick. Can can I can I talk to you maybe? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been following me. Whatever. You freak. Small bag. And this time, let's pay with some of this silver that we have. We've got a bunch. There we go. Please and thank you, good sir. Equip that. And that'll give us a lot more inventory space. Which I am certainly happy for because there is just so much shit in this game, man. That you wanna that I wanna carry around at least. Uh, you probably don't need to be carrying all the stuff around that I like to carry around. But I like to carry it around. I'm a bit of a hoarder in video games. I can't help it. Hmm. <clears throat> That pineapple fruit squeezy things. A plus, man. Good shit. Hello, enemies. Would you like to spawn? I uh, apparently have to kill all the Valkyrie, even though I was told by the 
princess to uh, be left alive. Oh, don't want our POW to run out. So POW is like your, your stamina. And if you run out of that, then you can't do shit. So <laughs> it's best to try and not let it run out. <laughs> Because you'll be sad if you do, I promise. <laughs> uh. Y'all dead? Y'all dead. There's most likely going to be another wave that comes in, though. Yeah, there they are. Figured as much. They weren't going to let me get away with just a couple dudes. These big uh, barbarian dwarves, whatever the hell they're called, their stupid axe always flies up in the air whenever you hit them. And if you're not careful, the axe will come down and just ram you in the face like that and uh <laughs> thankfully it's not doing a ton of damage right now but later in the game it can be pretty annoying man i'm not gonna lie do we have any more seeds we do we got a muggle seed let's grow it there's no point in holding on to this stuff right now all right we actually do need to recover a little bit though so we have taken some damage and this valkyrie is fast go away i need to heal i can't heal when you won't leave me alone uh, grapes do a lot of EXP. Is that going to be enough to, 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 do, to do? Ow. I'm trying to do stuff, people. Leave me alone for a moment, please, and thank you. Uh, also, whenever your, your fruit grows, if you don't tend to it quickly enough, it will expire. Like, it will go bad. So you, you need to, like, pick it pretty quickly after growing it. Um, and make sure that it gets a, a stream of Fozons. Otherwise, you're, you're going to be sorry. But thankfully... Oh, shit. I keep forgetting that our own Cyclone hurts us. I, I do that all the time. It just feels wrong to me, you know? Why would my magic spell hurt me? <laughs> so, we just took a bunch of damage that we probably didn't need to because I'm a dumbass. And I wasn't uh, thinking and kept running into my own damn thing. Okay, there's a lot of Fozons floating around. So what I would like to do, if possible, is maybe try and grow another... First off, get rid of that. Even though you can technically sell those. I don't know why. It's a stem of a grape. Like, who is actually going to buy that? Weird-ass people. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to try and grow another muggle. I don't know if there's enough Fozons running around for it, but... I don't really care if we lose the seed either, because we're going to get a ton of them. So I'm just going to throw it down and see what happens. And apparently it was enough, because it's a growing. And the rest we can just absorb. If there are any more. Yeah, there's a few more. I think that was it, though. Seems like it. All right. Dope. Collect our, collect our muggle prize. We also got a luck stone. The luck stone increases the chance of items dropping. Which sounds nice, but I find that the inventory ends up being, like, inventory space, excuse me, ends up being such an issue that it's just not worth it, honestly. Especially since the drops are usually things that, like, aren't that important. Things like, you know, extra seeds and, and, uh, oh, I don't, like, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's, that's all I can really think of off the top of my head. It ends up usually being like extra seeds and shit, which really aren't that big of a deal anyways. Because uh, you get enough, man. Trust me. You're, you get enough. It's fine. You don't need it. So, all right. Let's keep on going. Sorry, I was checking a message real quick to make sure everything was okay. And it seems like it is. Uh, let's just keep on trucking, shall we? Let's see, we got pull up the map. How do we pull up the map? Uh, okay, game's loading. <laughs> it's not me. I just can't do anything right now. I'm trying. I'm hitting buttons. The game is either frozen or loading. There it goes. It was loading. Holy hell. Sometimes, man, sometimes it struggles. You know, I feel it. Sometimes I feel the same way. You know, it's a, it's a relatively simple task. Some I've done a thousand times, sure. But, like, sometimes, man, I just it takes me a moment. Gotta, gotta get in the right headspace to to get to working on, on whatever the task at hand may be. 
<laughs> like opening up a menu. Uh, not that menu though. I wanted this one. All right, so we're gonna go that way. It's only level zero potion. Honestly, like we can probably skip some of these things. I don't know. I'm just used to like an RPGs fighting everything, going everywhere, and all that. But like, it doesn't feel that necessary. Especially since if we really wanted to, we can just like grind it out. Because we can always come back to areas. And since we have the map and we know what we're getting, honestly, I think we're just gonna beeline it for the for the boss, man. Screw it. I might I might end up regretting it later, but for right now at least, yeah, whatever. That's what we're gonna do. Beeline it for the boss. I mean, we're still gonna fight like the levels that we go to, of course. I don't know if it will let us exit early anyways. It doesn't look like it. But even if it would, I, I, I would at least fight the levels that we come across. I'm not in that much of a hurry to get to the end. Speaking of, uh, oh lord, annoying things though. These little dwarves, they're even worse than the big ones because they drop bombs <laughs> that explode. And not nicely explode, they, they big explode, man. Big, big, hurtful explode. Why are you on fire? He probably got hit by a bomb, actually, now that I think about it. That's <laughs> that's probably why he's on fire. Do you, do you gargoyles maybe want to, like, come down here and fight me instead of running the hell away? Yay! Thank you. Easy encounter. Must have been low level. I wasn't paying much attention to it, though, too huge. Is that going to be enough for our muggle to grow? It is! Look at that. Cool. So we'll uh, we'll eat that. Probably give us another level. And in the process, also give us another heal, which is very nice. The uh, health level to me is more important than the other one, especially since, like, at this point we got the healing one, which... Is, is one of the big ones I didn't even know was in the game, but now that I know it is, I'm like, well, that's actually extremely helpful, man. Uh, there's also one that makes you invulnerable, but, like, you can't do anything either. Physically, you can't do anything. You can use items and spells to deal damage with one of the, uh, the spells, the invulnerability spell. But that's it. You can't, you can't, you can't actually attack anyone. So it ends up being a lot less useful than maybe it sounds. Uh, there's one that makes your attacks do more damage. That one was pretty handy. But I don't know with the Puka what level we're going to unlock any of those or if we're even going to unlock them all. One of the big ones that I did really like, that again, I have no idea if it's going to, uh, if the Puka even gets, is one where the... Uh, you can sacrifice a level of your of your uh, psionics or whatever. I always forget the, the terms in this game. But uh, you sacrifice a level of that, and it releases some phosons just into the air. So you can kind of store up phosons to grow plants with in your in your magic ability, which is pretty cool, dude. So there's an example of we, we fucked around and ran out of endurance, but... Like, this boss, for whatever reason, wasn't really doing anything, so <laughs> kind of felt like it was worth it. I have no idea. I don't think our Phozon's gonna... Oh, we fucking died? For real? How... What? <laughs> How did the non-boss, the, the little, uh, the, the medium-sized dwarf dude, kill us more easily than the freaking boss did? The boss did, like, no damage that entire time. Holy hell. All right, well, I guess we'll have to be a little more careful with that. Also, I didn't mean to eat that. I actually meant to find one to plant is what I wanted to do. Because I think the boss will release enough boson energy to, uh, to grow it. Yeah, so whenever he does that charging ability, that's what we really need to, to pay attention for. Holy hell, dude. Yeah, the one that he's doing right there. That's the one that actually hurts us. Um, kind of like how that freaking medium-sized bro just hurt us. Like, Jesus, man. Uh, not that bag. That bag's empty. Not that one. We want to eat the muggle. That should be... As long as we don't get charged, 
that should be enough to take down the boss. Just gotta, just gotta watch for the charge attack. Okay, well, you know, I say that, and then another one of the freaking dwarves show up, and the dwarves are much more dangerous than the berserker, it seems. <laughs> Which, again, is a little ass backwards, but... Is he gonna charge? Ow, yep, okay, see, that one kinda hurts. It's not, it's not like the be-all, end-all, but it hurts. Is that gonna be enough to level up? Maybe? No. Come on, do we have any more? I think we have a grape. Yeah, we have a grape. That gives a bunch of experience. That should that should level us up. Gives us a full heal too. Okay. Let's hurry up and kill this bro so that he stops spawning more enemies. And then deal with this medium dwarf dude. Hopefully without fucking dying. Oh god. I used too much stamina. Regen. I didn't mean to I didn't mean to waste a cyclone. That was dumb. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Do, do we have a muggle yet? We do. Thank you. That was a terrible fight. That was a, that was a bad one. That one that that one's on me, man. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Like a B rank, a C rank? Yeah, that that seems fair. Honestly, I uh, I accept that. <laughs> what did we get? We got a material and an alchemy mix. You. What is that? Oh, that's the unlimited power one. We can actually make that for ourselves now. That's nice. So we need a level 4 material and a carrot. It seems like a lot of the potions use carrots. I wonder if we'll... Like, get all of the potion recipes before we get to the last character. I forget how many there are. I remember people like uh, Rue, for instance, told me how many there were. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, speaking of carrots being useful, though, we'll definitely take that one. And is the next one, that's the final boss for the area? It is. It is indeed. I guess that is one reason to do the extra encounters that you don't really need to do, necessarily need to do, is to get, like, alchemy recipes and stuff, because those aren't always guaranteed. It seems like they're kind of random drops. Hello, brigand. いい。They wanted to warn you that I'm here to kick your fucking ass, man. Wait, what do we need the horn for? I don't remember. <laughs> was, was there a reason that we came to get it from him? I'm sure there was. But I can't remember it. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember. Whatever. Let's kill the brigand. <laughs> well, not kill him, because I'm pretty sure someone else does that at some point. Was it Gwendolyn? Is Gwendolyn the one that actually killed him, or did she just defeat him? I don't remember. Anyways, doesn't matter. Let's kick his ass, man. <laughs> whether, whether we're going to kick his ass to the death or just kick his ass, I don't know, but let's do it. From what I remember, he's not super bad. He just, uh... Yeah, he does that stun a lot, and then he has these stupid... Oh, dude, I didn't even realize we unlocked another ability. Close on release. Oh, wait, that's the that's the one that grows stuff. Cool, cool, okay. So, so wait a second, that actually... Okay, we need to watch for the charge. Oops, need to pay more attention. Anyways, uh, so if we absorb those Phozons that we release like that, not only can plants use those, but I just realized that, uh... Really? Like one bomb killed us, bro? Anyways, as I was saying, I just realized it gives us more experience in the in the the fight fight blah, blah, blah. cipher level thing, the magic level, dude. I don't know why it's got to use special names. It's a it's a health level and a magic level, and they're magic orbs. It's mana. <laughs> just gonna call it fucking mana. Anyways, using that ability releases 
the 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 Phosons, the mana that we can absorb, which gives us more magic levels. So that seems kind of uh kind of cool. Ow. Ah, dude. This guy seems like he's actually gonna end up being pretty annoying. A lot more annoying than I maybe expected. We need, what is over here? Are you a, you're a dwarf. A little dwarf, a bomber dwarf. The worst fucking kind. <laughs> Seriously, their bombs are just like ridiculously strong, man. It's a giant pain in the ass. And since we can make that unlimited potion now and we are on a boss anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Oh, we have the fire spirits one too. Dude, fuck it, let's just use everything. Let's go. We need some fire spirits. Those make us invulnerable and uh, hurt things that they touch. And then the unlimited one here will give us the ability to just wail on him continuously without uh, without suffering from exhaustion. So we can just like keep fucking beating on him, basically. I think he's like somewhat resistant to fire. So like the fire spear probably isn't the the best thing to use against him, but like honestly, screw it. Okay, we need to heal soon, but we're okay for now. We still have a hundred. These the the Valkyrie that come in, they try to reattach his shields. Was a hint that we got from Rue, so that's uh, something that we need to try and avoid. Uh, we also got dizzied, which kind of sucks. Hurry up and drink a potion. Not that one. This minion. Just a regular healing tonic. Just because I don't want to risk dying. And it seems like our unlimited power did go away, sadly. Oh. Well, hi there. What are you... <laughs> wait. Wait. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I definitely never saw that one before. Oh yeah, did he just like fucking did he drown us in alcohol? I'm a little confused on what happened, I'm not gonna lie. Uh okay. I mean that's fine. You're like so close to dead. Can we please just murder you? Oh god. I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that. Come on, let me out of here. <laughs> oh my lord, can you stop jumping for a moment, please? Are you dead? Okay, he's dead. We can hurry up and heal because I feel like the dwarf will probably murder us. <laughs> as sad as that is, I feel like that's what would happen. So wait, are you not dead? Oh you are, okay. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. With like the final level boss, you don't actually have to fight the little dudes. You just got to get rid of the big one. That's right. I forgot about that. So we're good. We're Gucci. Oh, deep breath. He's dead. That's me. Yep. Ah, well, there's the confirmation. Yeah, we've been cursed into the form of a beast. Knower? That a real word. Knower? Knower? Nicer to some random dude than uh <laughs> his own daughter half the time. Thank you for your hospitality, even though I just had to fight through the entirety of your castle, almost dying. Like... <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the hospitality, man. 
タイタニア Although, if I remember correctly, Gwendolyn did say that, like, that was all her dad's doing, and her dad tends to try to send people on what he believes to be impossible missions. Uh, stupid things like that, so. Whatever. We showed him, right? Bitch. <laughs> uh, send me on a quote unquote impossible mission. I'll complete that shit. No problem. Like, it's a normal Tuesday. Why a Tuesday? I don't know. A lot of bad shit happens on Tuesdays, I guess. <laughs> Hi there. Random guy. Are you Titania? How? Criminals and sorcerers now run the streets if they own the city. Wait, what? What happened to the king? Is this... Are we in Titania? Is this my homeland? Something happened to my... My dad? コルネリウス王女を通りで見かけたよ。最近の王子は怪しいこの界隈によく現れなさる。何やら人が変わられたようだ。私がいるだって。Oh, so like somebody took my body or something and is running around pretending to be me? Yeah, someone pretending to be me. Look at that. Caught it. I mean, they they made it pretty obvious, but you know. Hi, uh, not shopkeep? You look like a shopkeep. Oh, you are a shopkeep. Okay. Uh, what are you selling? Small bag, detox charm. The detox charm would be nice, but man, it's like, it's fine. I'm not gonna buy one. I'll sell you some shit, though. I'll sell you this grape stem for a gold coin because, I mean, what the hell am I gonna do with a grape stem? This luck stone for three gold coins, because I don't believe I can do anything with it. Uh, I could equip it, but then I'd have to get rid of my attack power plus 5%. Oh, I used two different healing tonics. I wish there was a way to combine them down so they took up less space, like to stack them. But there is no stacking. And you're not selling anything. I could buy another small bag. I think you can have... What was it, like seven bags, eight bags total, something like that? Do I buy another one? I mean, I have some money, and I'm not really using the money for anything. Mm, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to hold off, just in case something cool appears, man. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff in this game that I still know, like, nothing about. So I'm just going to show some restraint. Oh, wait. We got two shopkeeps in this town? Okay, what do you what do you sell? Anything different? Uh, you sell some stones, power stone, no, drops, no, increase experience from phosons, no, nothing. Okay. The only one I'm really interested in is the one that increased my attack power because that's the one that I like to wear. And there are better versions of what I'm wearing. I think it goes all the way up to like a plus twenty percent or something. Mine right now is only a plus five. So it definitely gets better. The deep forests of Elrit. Wait, weren't we already in town? Huh. Why? Hmm. <laughs> Why do we have to travel through the forest if we were already in the town? Oh, this is just going to trigger like the cutscene. Or whatever, and then we'll then we'll go to the forest. Okay. Unless your father's been transformed or something too. Deceived the prince? Wait, so somebody tricked me into getting cursed? Oh no. 
but but we like her. <laughs> like the real us, not the fake us. Oh, that's not going to work out too well. I can already tell you that. Wendell and Mary someone else. We already played through her story. <laughs> so there's some sort of secret power that they haven't divulged? So is that like a political rival then, maybe? No, I'm your son, you, <laughs> you dick. I do, like, ask me anything. Anything that only your son would know. Ah, oh, that's right. He recognizes the sword. I remember them saying something about it being like my my uh, brother or uncle or someone, granddad sword. There we go. Now you're saying the right shit. Oh, didn't even give us a chance. How rude, man. How freaking rude. Oh, you'll be okay. Maybe. <laughs> I hope. I guess we don't actually know the end of his story. <laughs> he could end up completely like broken alone, dying in a forest somewhere. Like we don't we don't actually know the end of his story. Can't say he's gonna be okay. Maybe yeah, maybe maybe the love of our life, the whatever her name is. Velvet, that's it. Maybe maybe Velvet can give us a, a warm place to sleep. <laughs> uh. And that's why we're going to the forest to find Velvet. Oh, it's all coming back to me now. Watch me end up having to like fight her too or something. <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm waiting for, man. That's what I half expect now. Hey. Right. Come on, game. Load up. You got this. Pursue the imposter and find Velvet. So is that going to be who we end up fighting? I feel like that's probably who we're actually going to end up fighting. The imposter for this area. Ooh, maybe we can make some napalm. We haven't made some napalm in a long time. Napalm's some good shit. Oh, oh, dude. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate that. Also, I didn't realize those guys dropped uh, shit, and their shit poisons. They drop daggers. Where's where's everybody else at, man? Hello? It's a frog? Really? That's the that's the the enemy that's holding us up here? A frog? <laughs> He's gonna fucking tongue me to death. Alright, whatever. Uh do do I don't remember the I can't pause because this menu's up. I wanted to see what the the mixture was for an antidote because obviously we're going to need that in this area material zero plus onion okay so that's what uses onions antidotes i don't know why an onion creates an antidote but you know oh naples naples are, are dope law of titania new text added 
One who deals on the king's main street shall be fined. One who deals without permission shall also be fined. One who does not pay fines is beheaded. <laughs> so the laws of Titania have a lot to do about taxes and fines, huh? I mean, <laughs> one who complains about taxes shall be whipped and chained. Oh, my bad. I didn't say anything. Uh, one discriminating, uh, discriminating against magic shall be placed in the stocks. Violence is punishable by death. Okay. Treat that violence with more violence, guys. Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. Okay. Grab a level zero material. Mix it with some onions. And you get yourself a nice hearty antidote. I I think we'll automatically get cured when we go into the next area, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste one right now. Oh no, we don't automatically get cured. Okay, so I take that back. We're going to waste one right now. <laughs> Just go ahead and down that, and then uh, I meant to, I forgot. But since we finished up the uh, story section. And it's almost time for an ad break anyways. I think we're going to go ahead and take care of the ad break now. That way we don't have an ad run in the middle of the game or anything like that. Uh, and it gets rid of the pre-roll ads too. So anybody who just joins doesn't have to watch ads, which is nice. But it's not going to be too long. We're going to be gone for like three minutes. And then we'll be back with some more Odin Sphere goodness, man. <laughs> That'd be hectic as hell, though, man. Trying to run away from the ghosts and shit while, uh... While dealing with all the, the Twitch chat lag. You ended up watching the stream and that game was jank. No! I mean, okay, it was jank. It was jank as hell. It is. But it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. I really like the Pac-Man World game. At least the second one. I, I've never actually played the third one. I own it now, though, so I will be playing it at some point. But I really like it, man. It's just, it's so much fun. I don't know, I don't know if it's the, like, all the pretty colors or what. But, like, it, it's fun. It's just a fun time. And at the end of the day, that's all you need for a good game, man. It can be jank as hell. As long as you have fun with it, who cares? <laughs> I mean, Mountain Bike Adrenaline was jank as hell. And for some reason, I couldn't tell you why, but for some reason, I actually had some fun with it. Like, there's another one. Jank is jank as fuck, but fun time nonetheless, man. That game sucked too. I will say, like, Pac-Man World, I think, is a decent game, just jank as hell. Um, Mountain Bike Bike Adre Adrenaline was a little. Not only was it a little jank, but it did suck a little bit. But I was having fun with it though, so like, I ain't mad. If I had more time, I would totally play it. And, like, if I was a kid, and, uh, uh, I thought maybe you had the win. But, like, if I was a kid and that's the only game I had to play or whatever, like, I wouldn't be mad about it, right? And that's kind of how I, I judge whether a game is bad or not, you know? Just thinking back to when I was 12 years old and had a very limited selection of games. Would I be mad if this was the, the limited selection I had? Or if this is the game that, uh... Is if this was the game that I had rented for this week, right? Because I rented a lot of games growing up. So if this was the game that I rented for the week, or the weekend, whatever you want to call it, would I be mad that, that this is what I had to play? And at least with that game, no, nah, I wouldn't have been mad. Like, So, it's fine then, you know? Ah, Blockbuster memories, yeah. We, uh, we had a Blockbuster in the area, but I almost never went to Blockbuster. Because we had a, uh, a local game rental place that, when I was little, little, was literally next door from me, right? Like, I could walk out of my apartment and uh, cross one alleyway, and then I was at the rental store. Like, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but, like, we almost never went to the, to the Blockbuster or, or whatever. We mostly rented movies, not games. Yeah, I mean, we did a little bit of both. I thought that was a... Uh, I thought that was a platform down there, honestly. Pan? All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back into the game, shall we? Since we were in the break anyways, I went ahead and did a save just for, just for posterity's sake, you know? Might as well. It's better to have too many saves than not enough as far as I'm concerned. Are you dead? You're dead. Uh, Mr. Poisoner Bro, I don't care very much for you. You can, like, go away, maybe. <laughs> also, I can't help but notice that we are about 
to fucking uh, die? No, not die. Uh, run out of pow. That's what we were about to do. I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. I swear sometimes my brain doesn't work, dude. Now people say, like, they got their last two brain cells rubbing together trying to form a thought or whatever. Sometimes I feel like I don't even have two brain cells left to form a thought. Like, <laughs> that's what it feels like, man. It's ridiculous. Is it just me or did the last two chests we opened not have anything inside of them? Maybe it was like a... Maybe it was like a coin or something and we just picked it up super quick as it was coming out of the chest. I'm assuming it was something along those lines. What do we got? We got a Material Zero, Muggle, Grape Seed. Grapes are pretty nice. And then Mulberry. Mulberry is there, whatever. We haven't actually picked up the map yet, have we? Um, I'm assuming... I don't know. I don't know which way we need to go. Probably up, but we're just going to keep going a direction. And call that good enough. This is the shop. Okay, that's fine. We'll see if they have anything interesting, Mr. Rogue Poisoner Bro. What do you got? You got some milk, some cheese, some antidote. Increases attack power by 10%, so that's something that I actually would like to buy. For 25 gold, we should have enough to... Yeah, we got enough silver pieces on their own to buy it. Let's fucking go, dude. So I'll give you that. You seem way too happy about that, man. <laughs> hmm. Why can't I pick it up? Am I, is my inventory full? Maybe it is. Well, that's fine, because we're going to sell the other one anyways. So, uh, wherever it is. Somewhere. There it is. Saturn Bagel. Sell. For, what was it, like three gold or something? You really don't get your money back for it, but like, what else are we going to do with it, you know? So equip that. That'll increase our attack power, which is excellent. Then let's open up the proper inventory so maybe we can get this shit figured out a little bit. Let's see, we got a couple carrots. And I can't help but notice we actually haven't had the chance to cook yet. I thought maybe we had the ability to earlier in this, uh, this character's run through, but it appears I was wrong. Okay, we have a lot of materials. Um, I could use a health potion, but honestly, we have all this fruit and stuff to eat that I don't don't really see the point. Let's eat some lamb chop. That'll give us a full heal and quite a bit of... Oh, fuck. I forgot it has like three bites. Shit, that's not actually going to help me clear up inventory space at all. <laughs> uh, we have a couple heal potions. We have a couple antidotes. I can't really think of anything we need to do. So what we're going to do, I guess, is... Uh... Oh, you know what we can do? We can take those heal potions that we have that are that are level uh we can literally throw away a heal potion because i'm an idiot what <laughs> so mixing a heal potion with a zero multiplies it by zero so what i should have done was take one of these mix it with some seeds that i don't really care about like mulberry i guess then grab that mix it with muggle seed. I mean, we have quite a few muggles. I probably don't need any more. Yeah, fuck it. Mix it with another muggle seed. Just keep going. Ah, uh, don't drink the fucking potion. Dude, I hate this inventory system. That, I mean, it was on me. It definitely was definitely was what it was. Like, it clearly was labeled as a muggle potion or as a muggle potion as a fucking antidote but whatever we'll just mix it with it since i already fucked it up all right and then uh now if we mix it with a zero it'll go to zero but if i can get it up to a level nine which i went too far i should have left it at four and then mixed it with like a fruit or something that's fine. Just keep mixing with stuff. We'll just get this one up to level 9. Because if you mix a level 9 with a level 10, then you get 90. That sounds about right. And then I guess... Do we have any onions? We do not. Okay, let's try to find an onion real quick. Because we need to mix a, a level 0 with an onion. So we can get some more antidotes. Since my dumbass fucking 
drank it. All right, there's none here, but that's fine. We'll uh, we'll most likely end up finding one. I'm pretty sure onions grow pretty like a, a lot in the forest, right? <laughs> that's 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 the native area for for onions IRL, I'm sure. If you don't know how you find the the vegetables in this game, you just keep running until you hear a squeak on the ground. And then you jump to scare them, and then you beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> and there you go. You get a vegetable. That's how that works, man. I'm pretty sure that's how you find vegetables in real life, too, right? You just run around until something squeaks underground, and then you jump on it. And then... Take our potions and put down here. Something like that. Uh, I mean, I have, what... Two healing tonics. My seeds up here. Real food here. Muggles. These might as well be seeds, but they're kind of not at the same time. And then your ingredients. Okay. That's how I like that my inventory sorted. All right. Let's uh, go on to the next area, and then we'll, we'll deal with, with trying to clear more inventory space later. Whenever maybe we have more, more shit that we can mix together. Um... While we're at it, this is a boss fight. Protector of the woods. I was gonna, I was gonna try and grow a uh, a muggle real quick, but honestly, I don't think it's probably gonna be worth it. Instead, we'll just uh, we'll just focus on murdering this bro. Because I have, especially since I have like, uh, oh good, we're poisoned. Uh, especially since I have, like, those lamb chops and shit for, for, for health. Like, I don't feel like we really need to worry that much about getting heals right now. Come on, fucking die. The little mini chests that people drop, annoyingly, they disappear, like, pretty quickly. Uh, let's grow a Naple. I, it feels like there's a lot of stuff floating around. Hopefully it's enough. Naples are really good, but they do require a lot of stuff to grow. A lot of bosons. And then I've learned that after it grows, you have to leave the stuff. Like, after the tree grows, that doesn't mean it has all of the boson it needs. It still needs more. Which is, I feel like, important to note. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let the poison run out because we have a lot of health. And we have a lot of stuff that can heal us, and we're about to go up a, a health level anyways. So, fuck it. Muggle seed, mulberry seed, and a level with zero material. Okay, so with all these extra seeds that we've got now, though, let's take the level six one. And any seeds we don't really need, like mulberry. Mulberries are fine. They give decent experience and whatnot. But, man, there's just a lot better options out there. Muggle. We have we have plenty of muggles. We don't need it. Get rid of it. And then one more. There's gotta be there's gotta be one more seed that we can mix it with, right? Yeah, another mulberry. There we go. So we're gonna keep a hold of this one and use it to th synthesize a level nine material. And at this point though, what do we got? We got two grape seeds, some maple, one level zero, two level zeros. Three level zeros. Holy hell, dude. So do we just... Nah, fuck it. We'll just... No, there's, like, no reason, though. Like, I'm torn, because we could just go ahead and use an antidote. We have more than enough stuff to make it. But at the same time, it's like, why, man? I don't I don't need to make it. <laughs> like, we got so much shit. Okay, so we... Kind of do want to work our way around. Because that there, I'm pretty sure, is one of the coins that we need to cook with. And that there's probably a recipe of some sort. I don't know what that pendant is, but I'll probably end up skipping it because meh. See, I think we're going to actually work our way around, do most of the fights in this section. Let's go ahead and... Oh, and there's our poison recovered. So let's go ahead and eat. We started eating that lamb chop before. 50 experience. That's probably not going to be enough. Let's do the muggle instead. Yeah, the muggle wasn't enough either, but that's that's okay. Do we have anything small that gives experience? Not really. We can eat a Naple, though. Naples give a shit ton of experience. That's why they're one of my favorites. Alright. And let's-a-go. 
Next fucking fight, boy. Let's go. Uh, what level was this area? I, did, did I hit the wrong button? I hit the wrong button. I don't know why it takes so long for that menu to pop up. Oh, you know what? We can't actually load the map until the fight's over, I guess. Hmm. Good information. I'm kind of surprised I never noticed that before. I was just trying to decide if I should throw down a seed or not. With that said, though, I guess I don't really care if I lose a, a muggle seed either, so I'm just going to throw it down. I'll keep the grape seeds. Grapes are better, IMO, than muggles. What are... Oh, the hornets. Man, I forgot those things even existed. The bees. So, probably not going to be enough to grow it. <laughs> if that's if that's all the fight that we're getting, probably not going to be enough. But like I said, it's fine. I don't I don't particularly care about the muggle. Trust me, we're going to get so many more of them, man. That that tiny little bit there, the, the one seed, is not going to matter at the end of the day. At all. See, grape seed, baromet seed, and a rosimile. So all better ones than what uh than what we wasted there. Oh, dude, and it actually was enough to grow, anyways. Uh, does that mean are there any more random manas floating around then? No. Okay. To give us room to pick that up, I mean, let's uh, go ahead and finish eating this maple. I don't think it'll be enough to level us up, but we can get it out of our inventory and then pick up the one below our feet. The muggle. What do we leave down here? An onion. Now, do I have the recipe for napalm? I think I do. It'd probably be recipe N. Material level two and an onion. So let's try to make some napalm. Napalm comes in handy. It uh, It's like a fire magic that you can throw at any time, basically. It's pretty nice, honestly. So let's grab that, mix it with, I guess just a seed. Which now I kind of wish we had a seed I didn't care as much about. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Grape. I kind of want to keep the grapes though. The napalm is not worth losing my grapes over, man. Let's go into the inventory proper. What do we got the level 9 one. Got three level 0 ones. Holy hell. Rosimile, which... Rosimile just releases foes on, so we can use those to grow other things, which is pretty cool. And then we got all this food food up here. The problem is all of these make something at level 0, so I can't just use a vegetable to increase the level of our material. Um, I mean, we have three grape seeds. I guess I could use. Oh no, I need to. I would need to use two though. Well, it's fine. Let's just go to the next area. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna worry about it. Wasting time trying to figure out how to manage our inventory when we could just be getting through the game more. So let's do that. Oh, boss level two. Which maybe means we could grow something. Uh, we'll try a grape. We should be able to grow it. And if not, we can throw down a rosimile, uh, which will release 12 phosons, which is enough to grow that on its own. Uh, we know this guy likes to poison us. So maybe uh, we already have antidote. We don't even need to make any more, man. We're like, we're fucking set on everything. Use a cyclone since we gotta wait for our uh, stamina to regen. Oh, okay. Okay. Doing some damage, just a little bit. Let's uh let's run back. Oh, he got us. He fucking got us. That's fine. Antidote. If we can find it in this mess of an inventory system. And we'll eat a chunk of lamb because that's like 100 HP oh we're out of we're out of magic 
Oh no! We're out of magic! That actually does kind of suck. Just like, just because I would like to be able to do something while we're waiting for our pow to come back. Hey, turnips! I feel like we don't get too many turnips in the game. Maybe they only grow in the forest. Yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I used too much stamina. Uh, grabbing the Fozons out of the air seems to regen stamina really quickly, which is a handy little thing. But, of course, there has to be Fozons floating around for that to be useful. Which isn't always guaranteed, because they only really pop up whenever you make a potion or kill something. Let's get that grape off there before it goes bad, please, and thank you. And then, what do we got from the chest? Some milk. Milk is nice. Alchemy mix Y. Yogurt. Increases experience gained from food. Just any even numbered material and milk. Okay. So we can grab a level zero material. Grab a uh, bone takes us up to three. Well, that's, that's, is that fine? No, that's not fine. Um... I'm trying to figure out a way to get us at a even number. We could mix... I wonder if it counts zero as an even number. Uh, we could mix the bone with... Oh, you know what we can do? We can eat this other lamb chop, which is a little more health than we need to recover, but that should give us another bone. And then presumably, if we take the level three... Mix it with that bone, it'll take us to six. Yeah, look at us go. And then we can grab that level six and mix it with the milk to make yogurt. Now, before we do that, though, do we want... Let's test and see if they count zero as an even number. Because if they do, we could probably turn that into a nine. Maybe. We could try to turn it into a nine. Or a ten. Into a ten. And then get a level 90 and grow a bunch of shit with it. So grab a zero. Grab our milk. And it does. It does turn into yogurt. Okay, okay, okay. So we want to take the level six that we have. Mix it with something to get it to... Do we have... I think we can grow more lamb. We can. And that requires 12, fo 12 Fozons, which conveniently, we have a Rosimile, which will grow 12 Fozons. I'm trying to get, like, as much food as possible because I want to I wanna make the yogurt and then eat all of our food to suddenly get a bunch of levels in the health pool. So as many, like, Naples and lamb and grapes and whatnot that we can get so we can eat it all at one time, the better. Because really, like like I said earlier, having the magic is nice, increasing the level there, but honestly, increasing the health level seems to help so much more, man. All right, these guys should fall off. Uh, can you die maybe, though? Holy hell, this lamb is indestructible. <laughs> All right, there's one lamb chop. Stop running. You want to be my friend, Mr. Lamb. <laughs> A friend that I eat. All right. Uh, so we want to take... the level 9... and turn it into a level 10... Or actually, no. We want to take the level... Where is it? Level 6 and turn it into a level 9 or 10. Whatever, Whatever's easiest for us to get it to turn into. It's 11. That's too much. That's 12. That's also too much. It's 54. I mean, I guess we could do something like... What's 9 times 9? Nah, let's fucking... Let's... Let's just do what we planned on doing. 
Okay, so we can turn the that into a nine pretty easily by eating a lamb chop, which, I mean, sucks because we're gonna we're gonna lose a little bit of experience from eating the lamb chop early. But I guess it's it is what it is, right? We need we need the bone. So that took us up to fourteen. That gives us a bone and a little bit of experience. We mix the six with that to get nine. And then we mix the 9 with anything, really, to make it into a 10. Preferably something that we don't care much about, like onions. Because onions, at least right now, are pretty easy to come by. And then we take the 10, mix it with the 9. Don't fuck it up. That gives us level 90. Now, before we pick that up and make the potion, let's plant our stuff. All the seeds that we have. Grape seed. Grape seed. Pick this up. Make the yogurt. You and milk. And that should be enough to grow both of those and have some left over, which we'll try to grow a muggle with. I don't know for sure. If uh, it's going to last, like if there's enough left over to grow a muggle with it, but we're going to try. So we're getting, I don't know how much extra experience for each thing that we eat, but we're getting extra experience for each thing that we eat right now. Because that yogurt, which is dope. Okay, pick these up. I'm pretty sure the next best thing for us to eat are naples in terms of experience. Let's fucking go, dude. I wonder how high we can get. Already to 15. We started at a high 13 before we started just eating everything. Do we have any more Naple or was that it for Naple? I think that was it for Naple. So let's move on to grapes. That should be the next best thing. Rape it up. And it looks like there wasn't enough to get the Muggle to grow. So there's no point in downing any more, uh, like rushing to down the Muggle over the other stuff. We'll eat the muggle now, since it's here. We're just filling up on all kinds of fruit. Dude, you'd be so sick, like, eating all this fruit just back to back to back like this. Oh, we got more grape. Let's go. Okay, so 17. That's uh just under four levels that we've collected now. Is that it? I think that might be it, though. No more seeds. Any more seeds just, like, floating around on the ground anywhere? That we missed, maybe? That we that we didn't pick up for some reason? Doesn't look like it. But that's alright. We still have, like, two more yogurt portions. So whenever we can get a bunch of food together one more time, we're going to want to do the same sort of thing. Just just down it all in one, in one go. Just to clear up some inventory space, though, let's grab a level zero potion material thing and mix it with all of these stems and whatnot that we have. Because those only sell for one anyways. And really what we want to do is try and do the same sort of thing where we get a level 9 and a level 10 that we can mix together to quickly jump to 90. And normally I would just be throwing this stuff or selling it for one gold anyway. So why the hell not just fucking use it to, to get our materials leveled up a bit, you know? Alright, so that gives us... And that freed up a lot of inventory space, too. Hell yeah. So we have a level 4 and a level 0 and some yogurt. Okay. Got a bunch of onion. Do that with that. Ingredients go here. Uh, I guess that just goes there now. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go. On to the next area. Which I did want to get this coin, so we actually need to go this way first. That's a lot of inventorying. That's like, like I said, it would be so much quicker if the inventory, uh, the menu, inventory menus were not trash, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can really do about it except for deal with it. So that's what we're going to do is just deal with it. 
It does mean things take much longer than it really should, but... Holy hell, dude. Everybody drop chests. <laughs> hell yeah. I will take all the money, please, and thank you. Hurry up and pick it up before it disappears. I I'm pretty sure the, the money disappears, too, kind of like how the chests do. If you don't pick it up fast enough. Aw, the little bear was sleeping. Did you see the little cub sleeping? Oh, shit. There's more of them. Hi. Do you all want to drop chests again? So that was pretty pretty sick of me last time. I don't think we have any more seeds. Surprisingly, it doesn't seem like anyone really dropped seeds. Aw, dude, you poisoned us for real? We kind of need to collect the cypher before... Or the phosons before they all disappear. I mean, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll take a level on that too then, I guess. Why not, right? Let's use that... Ooh, them antidotes. Antidote, thank you. And then we did all of this because we wanted a specific coin so we can make better food later on. Uh, mulberry seed is what it is. And mulberry seed. I mean, mulberry seeds give some experience, like not absolute trash levels of experience. So especially like combined with a yogurt or something like that. You know, eat some some mulberry yogurt. It's, uh, it could be good. Nothing, nothing to complain about. Other than the fact that it's going to take up more of my inventory space. Just, we have the inventory space right now, so we might as well collect all the onions. Not to mention, ah, oh, that's something else we could use the Mario Seeds for, is just to try and make a napalm. What level is that one that we, that we actually leveled up for? Which I think is what we needed to make a napalm, actually, right? No. Must have been level two to make a napalm. So let's grab a level zero. Mix it with a mulberry seed. Thank you. And another mulberry seed. Thank you. And with those two together, with the power of might combine, I don't know. <laughs> There we go. Cool. We got napalm, which is, uh, I mean, it's handy. You know, a lot of things seem to be resistant to fire. So maybe it's not like the strongest thing in the world, but I could see it still saving our ass in, in some sort of situation. Is that a Rosimile seed? Rosimile seeds are nice. If we get anything that we need to grow with it. Do we have any, anything that we need to grow? No, but... Maybe they'll drop something, possibly. Question mark. No napping, Mr. Bear. Not allowed to heal. Not on my watch. Oh, that's right. We can also release uh, Fozons now. We could have done that to grow that that mulberry or not mulberry the uh, the Muggle bush that we that we tried to grow and ran out of things for. We could have released some photons and probably got it to grow, especially since we're at max out anyways. Which is something that we should really watch for, because anytime we're at max like that, we should honestly just... Ooh. We should honestly just uh, release and then re... reabsorb for the experience. Um, but in this case, what we're going to do is throw down that Rosimile right there. Yeah, yeah. And then throw down... The Naple that we just picked up? Are you? Yeah, Naple. Right there, right there. And then... Use that, that magic ability that we were just talking about. Goes on release. To give it a little a little boosty boost. And that might be enough. Between the two, I think that's enough to uh, get the Naple to grow. Which some maple yogurt sounds like a wonderful thing, man. Ooh, or maple yogurt, like, for IRL. Maple yogurt's where it's at. I love maple flavoring, man. I just... <laughs> I freaking love it. There we go. Two naples for us. Oh, that actually ended up being the perfect amount to grow it. 
pick those up and down some yogurt. Okay, we don't have enough room to pick it up. But that's fine. We can pick it up after after eating some things. Yogurt. We're going to leave this area with a health level of like 20, dude. It's going to be awesome. Considering how early we are in the game still, like with this character, I feel like our health is through the roof, which is freaking awesome. It helps that I guess like we understand much better this time around than we than we did before. Um, I just realized like everything we eat. Uh, oh no no no, that's fine. We can we can take the core from the first Naple and mix it into a material to get inventory space to pick up the other Naple. That's fine. That's what we'll do. Level zero. Do, do we... Did we end up using... No, there it is. I was going to say, I thought we had a, a, a material that we were working on leveling up. So at this point, to be smart, what would actually be a good thing to do, instead of throwing like four or five more things, five more things into that that material, we could use the multiplicative properties that potions have and uh, make another material that's level two. It'll cost us an extra material, but we get so many of them that we don't know what to do with half the time. Get it to level two and put on there, and that would get us right to 10. And then if we use a level two... Or two level threes. Two level threes would probably take the least amount of material, I guess. To get a nine, and then throw all that together. Yeah, it uses a lot more level zero material, I guess. So I, whether it's actually better or not, I don't know. But, meh. Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll mix you with that. And then mix that with the core. And then mix the two with the five. And that gives us ten. Look at that. I know, like, first grade math. I don't actually remember when you learn multiplication in school. But I mean, it's first grade sounds good, right? That's that's probably close enough to when you, when you learn your mul multiplication tables. We have so many ingredients, man. What else can we make with onions? All right, I know we can make napalm, and I know we can make antidotes, but... <laughs> Is there anything else we can actually use it for? Because, holy hell, we got a lot of shit. Yes, I am a customer, and I would like to sell you some onions. Because that's something that we can do with them. And, oh, should I have even more over here, too? Yes, yeah, sell you... All the onions, man. Just take them. They're yours. <laughs> I don't want them. What do you sell, though? Grape seeds, cheese, milk, material, antidote, pouchette, small bag, gourmet ring, talisman? Resistance to all status effects is kind of nice, but nah. We Gucci. Thanks for, thanks for taking the onions off my hands there, boss. We are going to continue on our merry way. So one more area. We're probably going to skip that talisman there and just go straight for the boss. Okay. Let's do it then. Oh. Adjust myself a little bit here. All right. Oh. Getting stuck. Getting stuck. There we go. Hi, frogs. Y'all seem nice, right? Ow. I was just saying how fucking nice you are. No reason to be assholes. I think we have a couple simple seeds, right? Mulberry, muggles, yeah. Let's throw, throw down a muggle. Might as well grow it. Oh, did I tire myself out? You know what? Use a cycle. Come on. Fucking go. <laughs> Grab that muggle, and then there's still a bunch of shit floating around, so let's, uh... Let's throw the other muggle down, too. As I've said so many times before, if we lose a muggle, I don't care. It's fine. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world, I promise. Can, can, can the hornet's nest die, please? Thank you. Oh, good. There's more. 
So I definitely don't think we're going to have any problems growing this muggle. In fact, I think we have a mulberry seed. Let's throw that down too and just grow everything. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's so many bosons floating around right now. We should probably absorb some for ourselves. Holy hell, if I could destroy the fucking bees. Oh, we need to go pick those real quick. Don't go bad, fruit. I'm sorry, I'm here. Thank you. Die. Good, you hit. Everything's dead. G fucking G. Absorb the Fozons. Sounds like some science fiction shit. Uh, can we not pick up or... Okay. I wasn't sure if maybe our things were full, our inventory, or if we just couldn't pick anything up. Another grape seed, very cool. Muggle seed, and another level zero. Uh, do we do we go ahead and use the, the last yogurt? We have 120 times two, 70, another 120. Yeah, fuck it. It's not, it's no Naples, but it'll clear up some inventory space and give us even more experience. And we're about to eat a fair bit of stuff. One single mulberry. Or two mulberries, actually. That's right. One mulberry bush drops two. Couple muggles. Not like in the Harry Potter sense. That would be weird. I don't think Puka eat people. Though I could be wrong. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know the, the normal diets of the Puka. <laughs> uh. Okay, that's 19. We're getting real close to my to my goal of 20 here, man. Get the seeds up top, like I like. Let's get those cubs band together too, why don't we? So we got three muggle seeds and a grape. I don't think we're actually gonna make it to 20 though, man. Because if we're if we're skipping that last area and going straight for the boss, I I doubt we'll uh actually grow have a chance to grow and eat anything during the boss, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Gives us something to do next time on Dragon Ball Z. No. Uh, I need to fucking finish Dragon Ball Z one of these days. I've had the collection for quite a while on DVD Blu-ray for Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, which... I mean, you know, GT's a little iffy, but... Meh. <laughs> I still want to watch it. The only one I don't have is Super, but I'm waiting for the collection to kind of go down in price a little bit, especially since I can stream it on a VRV. I'm, at least I'm pretty sure VRV still has Dragon Ball Super. That's where I watched it originally. I mean, he did kind of take over your body, and it's probably related to whoever cursed you. I mean, you could simply tell me. You're just going to be a dick and not. Wait. Wait, was it really Velvet? Or is he lying? Ooh. <laughs> oh, buddy. That changes some things. Holy shit. Oh no. <laughs> Our velvet, though. Is it, though? I feel like it might actually be her. I don't think she's lying. I mean, it can be her, and I think it might be her. Oh, maybe not. It says Velvet's imposter. Ah, oh, is it true love? Does Velvet really love us? I guess this isn't PS2 Gauntlet number 87, is it? That's kind of... should probably delete that. There we go. Done. Update the title. <laughs> My bad. So, even if it's not her, it seems like... It's the same, like, fight. Like, she's gonna use the same tactics that that the real velvet used yeah the the potions and stuff and the chains okay 
At least, at least we kind of know what what's coming. Then, come on, come on, pal. Why is the pal not coming back? Thank you. Hey, hey, dude, it's me. Why you beating me? Don't you remember all the poems and the kind words and things that we shared? How are you gonna just throw that all away and beat the shit out of me, man? Ow. <laughs> all right, we need to eat. Uh, not Cyclone. Eat some lamb. Just in the middle of your battle, just uh, pull out a lamb chop and be like, hold on, ho hold on, dude. I need, to, I need to get a little bite of this real quick, you know what I mean? Just give me a second. There we go, much better. Although I feel like that is the sort of things that you would see in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like, like people just requesting nicely for Goku to let them power up and shit. And he's like, yeah, dude, that's fine. Go ahead. If I'm going to fight you, I might as well fight you at full strength, right? <laughs> it's like, no, dude. He's trying to destroy the world. Just fucking murder them. <laughs> Don't give them a chance to fucking do anything. Goku is too fucking kind for his own good, man. For the world's own good, really. Uh, Cyclone. Uh. There we go. She's dead. That wasn't too bad. I don't remember what difficulty are we on. I know originally I was just trying to play the game in hard mode. And if I was playing it just on my own time, I probably would have left it at that. But boy, there are times where it is fucking hard. Not gonna lie. There we go. Hell yeah. Try to impersonate Velvet again, you little dick. Velvet has a twin brother? Wait, for real though? Or are you just lying again? So wait, Gwendolyn has a brother then too. Because uh, Velvet is Gwendolyn's sister. What do you mean? I'm a prince. I'm a decent guy. Like, what? Why couldn't Velvet and I be together? I don't even know if you're telling the truth, though. Oh. Yes. Yes, let her see you like this. Tell her what he did. Maybe she knows a way to fix it. Fucking people are stupid, man. <laughs> uh, I hate people. See? I'm a decent guy. Why are you hell bent on making your sister sad, man? Like, do you fucking hate your sister or something? Certain obligations? Like what, dude? So I'm assuming that's two more characters we're going to be playing. So we did Gwendolyn. We're doing Cornelius now. I'm assuming it'll be Velvet and whatever that dude's name is again. So that's four. And then the the dude that Gwendolyn got married to. So that's five? Maybe there's five characters that you had to play through in the game? I'm not sure. I'm I'm completely guessing here. I'm sure Google would tell us if we if we looked it up. <laughs> Probably pretty quickly. But it's fine. Who doesn't like a little bit of surprise, right? Oh, back in the capital. Hi there, guard, sir. 
<laughs> Do I look like a fucking goblin? Have you never seen a goblin before, sir? Oh, my lord. Stop it. I want to reach through the screen and slap this dude. Like, he didn't even give Velvet a chance, man. Ah, snap. Gwendolyn's dead. <laughs> Spoiler. She's not. Uh, you're a shopkeeper, right? Uh, I didn't really mean to go to sell. I meant to go to buy first. Do you have a big bag? You do not. Mm, I don't think we want anything else from you then. Nope. I can go ahead and sell you a thing or two, though. Like this bone. <laughs> you, can, you can buy my bone for a single gold piece. Uh, sure, I'll sell you a single muggle seed for a couple of gold. Grapes, onions. We have a level 0, a level 10. Oh, we should have kept the bone, because the one bone would take us to 3. Hmm. Oh well, too late now. But that's fine, we'll keep everything else. Goodbye! Hi there, are you also a shopkeep? You are, the it's weird that there's two shopkeeps in this one. Ooh, Naples Seeds. And the fact that he's selling... Oh, you're selling the slightly larger bag? Um, oh, you sell all kinds of charms. Ice-proof charm, fireproof charm. Uh, Warmer. I'm assuming we're going to a cold place next since he's selling stuff like that. Let's buy one of the slightly larger bags. If we have... Yeah, we have the gold board. And then we'll wait for the large bags before we buy any more. If we can even buy any more. So I don't remember how many bags we can actually have. And then I guess you can just go there. And ingredients go here. Oh, well, seeds can go up top. You can go there. Okay. Yeah, if we would have kept that bone, we could have mixed the zero with it to get a three. And then once we got another zero and the ability to get up to three, mix them together. That takes nine. Nine times nine is ten. Nine times ten is ninety. And then we could have could have had a nice high level thing going. But oh well. Tis what it is. And we are going to a cold area next. Kind of what I figured. Which is fine. That just means we'll, once we get here, we'll mix up some cold potion. Some uh, warmer or whatever it's called. And we'll be good. I ain't that worried about it, man. We're fine. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, the jester dude. Wait. He recognizes us. Bruh. Can you tell the fucking king that he's a dumbass? <laughs> a magician, jester, whatever. Same thing at the end of the day, right? Whoa. Calm down just a little bit there, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, not every spellcaster is a bad dude, I'm just saying. He's literally trying to help you right now. I mean, he could end up being a bad guy in the long run. I don't know. But right now, he says he's trying to help you. Just give him a fucking chance. Knows all and can see the future? Wait, what? That's, that's actually pretty smart, man. That's actually pretty smart, man. 
忘れてくだされやはりお伝えするのではなかったいやゆうこわずかな希望でもないよりはましい too late, you already said it, man. Can't take it back now. 最悪でもどうせ死んだも同然のこの命が終わるだけだ Alright, so we're, we gotta find a dragon then and、uh, take care of that, I guess? Fucking fight a dragon, why not, you know?、Uh, and just like last time, since we finished up that section, after we do whatever this first fight is here that we're gonna be stuck in,、uh, we're gonna take a very short break so that we can get rid of ads, not have them run in the middle of the game. As well as get rid of those stupid pre roll ads that I just love so much.、Uh, <laughs> let's try to grow a grape. I think we'll get enough. If we haven't already. Oh no, the other ones disappeared! I didn't get to murder them!、Uh, it should be fine though, because we have that ability now. We can do foes on relief. Is that enough to grow the grape? Yes, okay. Excellent. Wait a second. Okay, we gotta pick that up. Let's see what we got here, but then I wanna I wanna check something real quick. Muggle seeds or whatever, material, whatever, mulberry seed, grape seed. Okay. So I wanna check some. We have two and like what, a third on our cypher bar up there. So if we do foes on release, that takes us down one, right? And then we absorb. We get almost as much back as what we spend. Not quite as much, but almost as much back as what we spend and get levels from it. So, this is almost a way to just keep collecting experience forever. I, I feel like that was a little bit of an oversight. <laughs> um. I'm pretty sure it wasn't meant to work that way. But, I mean, it's fine, I guess. Anyways,、uh, let's make some, <laughs> some warmer real quick since we're here. We need. We picked up a level zero material somewhere, didn't we? I mean, there's one there, but didn't we just pick one up too? Holy hell, I feel like I'm going insane. There it is. And then, yeah, mixing that with that gives us some warmer. That'll help us out if we end up、uh, getting in a position where we are losing health because of the cold or whatever. Or does it just prevent us from. Prevents damage from excessive cold? Okay, I thought so. I couldn't remember if it just prevented us from getting frozen or if it actually prevented the damage from cold areas. But it prevents the damage from cold areas. That's what I was hoping for. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and switch over and take that break now, real quick. We'll be back in like three minutes, guys. Thank you so much for hanging in with me here. Womp 